Hello and welcome to the next lesson of the business objects. So in this lesson we will see that uh, how we can do the basic formatting of uh, our reports. So here we have uh, a report that we created in the previous lesson and we call it the sales report and uh, we have here five different columns for this report. So as far as the formatting is concerned the first thing that you will have to do is to select the table because we are currently focusing on how to format the tables in the reports and then in the next lesson we will see that how to format different charts and graphs so the focus on this uh, in this lesson is how to format the tables so we will select the table and the first thing that you may want to do is to rename the table if you have not already done so so in order to rename you can click here on the rename icon and give it any appropriate name and we are calling this table as the sales table all right so in order to do the basic formatting of the table on top of the table name you will click here on the second icon which is the paint brush icon and then you will have access to different formatting uh, features so once you click here on the paint brush icon then you have here four different icons and uh, the first thing that we will try here is to format the text so you click here on double a icon which is the text settings icon so you click here and you have different basic uh, features that you can work on so for example the first thing that we will try is to give the text some different color Okay, so that is one of the option that we can work on so if we select some different color let's go for any dark color okay let's go for this uh, color here you can choose any dark color or light color it's up to you so you can see that the color of the whole table has been changed the the colors of the headings and the color of all of the data cells then if we click here on the bold so you will see that each and every cell has been changed to bold including the headings okay now why it is taking effect on to the whole table because we selected the whole table here and all of these changes are being affected at the at the table level but what we want uh, we want to have a different color on the columns and we want to have different colors for the data cells so if we want to make the changes only to the headings and if we want to have different settings for the data cells so what we can do we can select the uh, the first column and we can select the heading of that column and then press the shift button and going to the last uh, heading of the last column so you will select all of the headings okay and now you make some changes so for example you can change the color so I'll give some different color to the headings all right and I will keep the uh, the headings as bold and uh, maybe I will just increase the font size just a little bit and you can make some other changes for example you can go for different other uh, text settings or different type of fonts and so on so here we have just changed the headings now what we want we want to change some different color for the data cells so in order to do that you will select the first cell of the first column press the shift button and select the first cell of the last column so that way you will have already selected the data cells for the entire table and now let's try to change the color all right so let's go for any any different color okay this one all right and I will undo the bold for the data cells all right so here we have some of the settings some of the modifications that we have done uh, different color for the headings and different color for the data cells then the next thing that i want to do is to increase their uh, column widths 
so for example i want to increase the width of this amount sold column so i will select the heading okay so make sure i'm selecting this cell alone and then i will go to the right edge of this column and you will see that the mouse cursor will change to the double headed arrow okay so once that happens you press the mouse button and drag it on to the right so you will see that it is the width of this cell is getting increased and once you release the mouse button so you will see that the width of the whole column has been increased and you can do the same with the next uh, column as well and here we go so we have increased the width of the second column as well all right and uh, so what else we want to do so let's go through uh, some of the other uh, settings for example in uh, here we are on the text settings if we go here to the appearance settings of this cell alone okay so what we can do is we can modify the padding so on the top bottom left and right so we can add some margins and all these different uh, options we can also add the background color so let's try the background color for these data cells so let's select again the first cell of the first column press the shift button and select the first cell of the last column okay so you can see here multi selection and now what we want to do for example let's go for the background color okay so i will select any background color all right and uh, what else we can do we can also add the borders so again i have selected multiple columns but i have selected only the data cells and then i'm here on the first icon okay, which is the appearance settings and i have changed here the background color and uh, the next thing that uh, you can do is you can also add the borders so for example you can click here on all borders so all four sides of the borders okay and then if you click anywhere outside the table so you can see that it has the table is having a different background color and uh, uh, you have different borders and so on and uh, now uh, the last thing that you will do as far as the borders are concerned is you will add the borders for the headings as well so you can select the first cell of the first column press the shift button and select the last uh, column so you have selected only the headings and again you can give them a different background color so again optionally you can give the background color to the headings as well all right okay and you can give them the borders as well all right so i'll go for a little bit lighter background color just any color okay all right other than that uh, what else you can do for example you can modify their their width and you can modify the height of uh, different cells and as we already have seen you can modify their text related like uh, bold unbold and ch changing the font size color and so on so these are some of the basic level formattings that you can do for any selected table so if we click outside the table so we can see all of these things here and uh, uh, if you want to see that how this will look like uh, when you will be reading the report or when someone will be reading the report so what you can do that if you go to the right side uh, where you have these two icons so you will see here a drop down arrow so if you click here on the drop down arrow so currently you are in the design mode so you are designing the report so the next thing that you will have to do is to click here on reading mode okay so the report will be in the reading mode so you can easily scroll down and you can navigate to different pages and you can see that how the formatting looks like is everything okay or not so that is what you can do once you have designed your report so it's always good idea to go to the reading mode and see how this report looks like so let's go back to the design mode so in this lesson we have seen that how we can do 
the basic level formatting and uh, we have some other uh, formatting uh, related uh, features that we will explore in the next lessons.